this is the drip neck I'm just finishing off a project I uh, did a video on this uh, a while back but didn't actually complete the full construction of it looking on the uh, various um, forums and things it does need a, a few more extra parts which weren't to which weren't initially obvious just to stop the um, gears pulling back it's actually got these uh, it's actually recommends to put in some some uh, bolts which will which are these which what they do if I just reassemble this you'll see they'll just slot into the I'll just make sure you can see that here again they'll just slot into the tops of the gearing like so and it stops the gears pulling it uh, stops the gear shafts pulling away from the gear mechanism so it just locks the whole uh, structure in properly these are M4 bolts uh, they can be any any thread really but uh, the important point is that that head will just sit in there or in into the top of these uh, into, into the top of the shafts. These were actually M4 Allen head bolts, which I think they're at 25 mil long, but I've just cut them down roughly to, uh, well, it's about 12 mil there, just to allow them to sit in and just lock into the top of the, uh, the gear shafts and stop it moving around. And I had to just drill out these holes uh, to M4. It depends what uh, um, Allen bolts you're using. It's, it's the head size that's important. And I'm going to just glue them into the uh, into the shaft in a minute, just to stop them falling down too far. So because it's the top you want to sort of hold in place, if you see what I mean. So I'm just going to glue those in. Then we're going to put on the um, put in some ball bearings, some grease, reassemble the whole thing, uh, and just test it. But before I do anything any of that. I'm also going to line these up to 90 degrees just so we know where we are with the whole system. So I'm just going to go off camera a couple of minutes and then I'll show you what I've done. Right, just before I reassemble I've, I've uh, thought I should just line these servos up to 90 degrees so at least we know we've got movement on either side. I'm actually using the, uh, the drip program um, which was available on EasyB. I'll do a link on it. You can actually download drip's um, setup files for the EasyB program uh, which obviously makes it a lot easier to to align and set up all these. I've got it on the uh, monitor. I'll just uh, swing up for a second just so you can see it on the uh, you can't really make it out on the computer there but I do have it on there and I'll do a link on that uh, and I'll zoom in on that in a little bit just so you can see it a little bit better. But what it's allowing me to do is directly control each one of these so that one as you can probably see that's moving I'm just setting that up manually at 90 degrees uh, with a, a, a server control page that one is that one moving so I'm just going to set that at 90 just gives me a, a central point to work from that's at 90 and that small one you can just see that one moving uh, and I'm going to put that at 90 you can obviously set that with different uh, with other software, so that isn't uh, too crucial. Just show you one other thing. So I've just got to be uh, careful. The inner or the bottom gearing there. Just got to make sure that's pulled up because otherwise it will just slightly snag on that that gear there. So that might just catch the middle one, which I've just noticed did happen slightly. So when when these rings are in, you've got to make sure they're tightly in. Uh, it, so they're not moving down like that and just misaligning slightly on the mesh of the gear. So if I show you that moving for example, you can see those gears moving in there. There's the middle one going. There's the bottom one going. So that bottom one you've just got to make sure it isn't going to snag in them there. Bring it right into the camera there, just make sure you can see that. Just 
but I just feel like they're slightly catchy. Just to show you how the rings do go on, you've got uh, this is the base ring, so that, that's um, slotted out with a groove to take the bearings. So that will go on first, slots in in there. This one goes in next. Slots in there, and that one goes in last. That's got a, uh, a thread in there to tighten it up. Tighten it through. So that, that all lines up, so it is actually time to put the ball bearings and the grease in, so I will dig out the ball bearings and the grease. Okay, as you can see, I'm just putting in some uh, ball bearings into the into the grooves. I don't want to put too much grease in, but we'll just put a little bit in there. I've just put a small self tap in there, so I'll just release that off a little bit. sure that is really tight in there. And that's going to work. I can always put a screw through into, you know, through there in, into the inner shelf just to make sure it doesn't snag on there. But that seems to be lining up fine in there now, so that's okay. That's the bottom shelf rotating there. That's the middle shaft, and that's yeah, that's not snagging at all, so that's good. And the top one, again, quite slow, but I've, got, I've actually got a really slow, a uh, really low voltage. I'm running at 4.8 volts out of my power supply, um, and these are seven volt. Uh, servo so I think that's got a lot to do with the with the speed the um, power supply I've got well which is normally a 5 volt is the one I used to use ages ago for the in-move but because uh, these are easy B servos so they need a bit more power so I'm actually going to get a bigger power supply I think I think I'll get a 6 uh, a 6 volt one um, just to give it a bit more uh, oomph because uh, most of the servos are running at 6 volts very successfully just to show you, it's worth getting these to fit in really tightly because there was a bit of movement earlier on, on this whole arm assembly. It was a bit tricksy getting a uh, nut stuff. These are actually coaching bolts to get a nut head to sit in there. So uh, I just had some coaching bolts and they seemed about the best thing for it. I think there's are M6s that looks, I think. Um, but also you've then got this slightly raised piece of plastic there, uh, which was just getting above the seating of that. So this wasn't sort of sitting in properly. So I've just shaved that down a little bit. So I've um, locked off these now. I thought I had some locking uh, nuts uh, of that size but well, unfortunately I don't I've got some larger ones these sort of things with the, uh, the plastic 
in the side, which you know, so you can set them. So I didn't, so I've just put a double nut on there, it's a little bit fiddly, but uh, I managed to get the uh, tension pretty good on those so that there's no, there's no movement in them anymore. So that all seems to be locked together. Uh, let's try it. So, as you can see, I've dropped the camera down, so we're getting a slightly better image on that. So obviously have a base structure which I'm not failing there there we go yeah you can see that a bit better let's try that's saying no <laughs> which I think went quite effectively So I think what I need to do is slightly adjust this so the head itself is higher, if you see what I mean. So if we go into... Yeah, we need to... See what that does. Well, I think you saw all of that. Let me just uh, bring the camera slightly up. Works rather nicely. I, I will get some uh, uh, lock washers, lock nuts in there just to lock off inside here as well. I think so, just to give that a bit more. But it's 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 working all right. It's not too much giving it because it's quite a heavy head. That I've moved it back as you can see to there. Uh, looking at the uh, PDF, I think that's. Not really clear where that bolt goes actually. Where's that bolt go in the middle there? But the, the head would be better, the neck would be better if it's sort of more centered. Maybe I will look at that and turn that around. Maybe that could go around on that side. Well I'm going to have a play around with that, see if there's a better way to mount that. So that's that's this for the second. I've been doing a little bit of further investigation about the, how the, the head fits onto the onto the unit, and I've actually got it on back to front. It's just because this it it does actually fit that way round, but the um, the pieces I've got on are, are going to need modified. There is a piece on his drawing, on Trump's drawing, that doesn't appear to be in his STL. So whether that is an in move piece or not, I don't know. But it's it's this section here because uh, I've got it on that way around but so that's why it's leaning forward so much uh, with it basically needs to go in that way around uh, looking on his uh, on his construction drawings but uh, this this section is incorrect so I'm gonna have to re uh, have to dig out a piece for that uh, as I said it's on the PDF but it's not on my uh, it's not on the downloads so I'm gonna hunt out a piece or reprint this piece because I suppose you don't need any of this gearing inside because the rotation is within the neck as well so uh, I will have a look at that because there must be a different uh, parts that I've missed anyway so a uh, bit, bit more work to do but basically the move uh, the uh, the drip neck is done it's nice and solid uh, so that's complete so that's uh, that's that little project out of the way which has taken uh, well it hasn't actually taken very long I just haven't uh, got around to finishing it off that is now 
that is now done. But I will do a, fair, a little update when I get the, the piece to go under here. Uh, when I work out how that's how that's to go together. Uh, oops, the drawers, the drawers falling off now. But that would, so that would help to show it. And that would sit in a bit further forward. So the whole thing sits a bit further forward anyway, like that. But uh, there we go for now. So this is the drip neck uh, sections that would go into the in move if uh, if I did add it to the in move, which. Uh, I'm still not sure if I will or not, but there's this lower section. I've got. I have. I've only printed that piece, but that these pieces fit on the side, screw in through. These pieces fit on the side, which screw in through there and there, and come underneath there. This piece aligns on there. Around the front, this piece screws in on the front there. So you've got that assembly. So it's a bit more structural. Well, that'll sit now uh, like that. Um, as you can see. So that's the back of it. Back of it there, and I will show you how that would go on the in move. So, you can see the front of the in move. So, just to recap, this section here will fit in there. So, those, those two slots, those two slots are these. So, that will sit in at approximately that. Approximately that height, basically. Um, the the head's leaning forward, but uh, the neck would be in the, in the normal place there. So that's the front. If you just look at the back, let me swing him round. There's the bit that took me a while to sort of work out. So that's that's the back piece. So in fact, you've got that sort of section. I've only got. That piece printed, but there'll obviously be another one on the other side. So that's that's roughly the height it sits on the back, but that piece would sit in roughly there inside. But if I was going to add it into this in move, obviously I'd have to take the uh, original, well, this uh, uh, Bopusa neck off. That obviously all comes off. This bit comes off, and that's sitting about there roughly in it see what I mean but I'd also have to basically strip the whole thing back um, the as, as, as I was mentioned the actual sections uh, aren't glued together generally so they're just press fitted together so it will all come apart because I've actually built it so it'll come apart but it'll be quite a, a, a major strip down and also rewire so um, it's not going to happen for the minute I've just got to, you can probably see it in this picture actually, if I just go up, I've just got to fix that section there and I have actually printed the new pieces um, so I will be taking that part apart to uh, to modify that um, and just keep this neck on it for the time because I like this neck but as I said that bit snapped um, but I may in the future put the, the drip neck on. <laughs> 